Hi everybody, it's Joan Miller. Today we're doing a quickie upper body and core workout. And you know what that means, lots of planks. And it's because it's such a gray day, I decided to wear the brightest clothes I own. Hope you are too. Let's warm up a little bit, a little cat cow. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. We're gonna exhale around. Inhale, exhale, stretching your back body. Inhale, stretching the front body. Let's do a couple more. Exhaling. And then exhale. So let's let's continue our warm-up here by extending the left leg out. Like this, do this. Let's inhale here, extend, exhale round. And then we're gonna lift the left leg up on the inhale. Exhale round. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, let's do four more. Stretching the front of the body, warming up the core. Inhale, exhale, two more, and one more. Now we're gonna extend it out into bird dog pose right here. Reaching fingertips to toes, but keeping your abs tight. Um, you can stay here if you like, or you can draw the knee past the elbow on the exhale and inhale. So exhale. I hope this is going to warm me up here. It's pretty chilly out here today. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Extend. Exhale and reach out. Two more now. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Let's stop and stretch the chest in between. Half down dog here. Try to keep the arms straight. Three breath. And we're walking back up for the other side now. Remember, if this bothers your wrist, you can come to fists. So now we inhale up and we exhale round. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale completely. Stretch and flex. Four more. Three. Lifting the heart on the inhale. Two. And one. And then we extend out. Fingers to toes. Holding or exhale and inhale. Exhale. Inhale. It helps if you exhale through the mouth. Reach. Three more now. Two and one. Let's take another stretch. It's a kneeling twist. We take the back arm up on the inhale. And we're going to slide it through here, resting the side of the head on the mat, making sure the weight is even on both knees. Exhale and turn. And then we inhale up. Exhale down. On the other side, we inhale up, we exhale. So good. And then we inhale up, and we exhale down. All right, it's time to plank. I think this means the socks are gonna have to come off. So like with anything else, if it bothers your wrists to plank, fists or forearms are good. Hands under the shoulders. Let's straighten one leg out, and let's straighten the other. So good, in good plank form, we're tucking under, keeping the core engaged here. Let's start with some bridging. We take the right foot out, the left foot as wide as the mat. Inhale, together. And you don't have to have a mat to be doing this. You can just estimate. You don't want to go too wide with this bridge now. Maybe about a foot out and a foot in, no pun intended here. Out out, in, out, out, in for two, out, out, in, out, out, in, other way, left foot leads, or the other foot, whichever one you weren't just doing, I hope you're doing these with me, even if it's not live, maybe later during the day, 
I notice with planks, if I, do, if I don't do plank for a week or so, I can definitely feel a difference. Uh, loss of strength here in the upper body. Two more now. So let's do it. Let's do it at least once a week. One more here. Out, out, in. Let's take a down dog. Stretching. You know, down dog is also an upper body strengthening move that we love. It feels so good. All right. Let's come on down again. So we're going to do some push-ups. I like to do the push-ups on the knees because it allows us to have a greater range of motion and use more chest like this. So we widen the hands. That deck is wet. We bring the body in a straight line. And then we can lower down to the upper bodies. Uh, the upper arms that parallel to the ground. When I was training, um, when I had basic training in the army, you had to do a lot of push-ups. And I always talked about breaking the plane. You had to break the plane where your upper body is parallel to the ground. Otherwise, it didn't count. And you had to do 20 more. Yeah, no fun. But it didn't make us strong. All right. All right, let's do eight more. Inhale, soft what you need. So with this nice bend in the arm and the knees down, it's a little more doable. Four more. So again, nice and wide and low works the chest. You can feel this tomorrow. Two more here. Inhale. Inhale. Woo. And stretch. Couple of breaths here. Another one of my favorites, the dolphin pose. Works to upper body core and triceps. Let's bring the elbows under the shoulders, interlacing the hands. Let's bring the feet together and let's lift, lift the behind up. So in dolphin, we're actually gonna come way up on the toes and shift the weight forward onto the arm. Now you can hold here if you like, or if you like a little, a little bonus, we're gonna lift one leg up. You can bend it if you like. You can even turn it out if you want. Five breaths here in this dolphin variation. Pressing the forearms down. Pressing the hands down. Let's take one more breath here. Then let's exhale the knee in and we inhale it up. We exhale it in and up. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Pressing the hands down. Let's do four more. Exhale, inhale, exhale. It's also working the back. I hope you can feel that as well. Upper back that is lats. Two and one. And let's lower down the forearm plank for five, four, three two, one, and then we stretch up in Sphinx. So I hope you're feeling that in that position, working the lats, you're working the shoulders, the triceps, in addition to your core. Such a great move, and you get a great stretch at the same time. Let's rest, actually rest the arms here for three breaths. Because you know what's coming. Inevitably, to the other side. Let's do it. Forearms down, elbows under the shoulders, hands interlaced. We're walking up to dolphin. Holding here a couple of breaths. Up on the tippy toes, pressing the arms down. And then we lift one leg up. Bend it if you like. We're holding here for five breaths, pressing the arms down. There's a tendency to sag into the arms. Let's push them. It's like you're pushing the mat away from you, pushing it forward. Two more breaths. And then on the exhale, knee comes in. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. 
exhale, and four more, exhale completely, inhale, exhale, two more, exhale, and last one, exhale, let's bring it down, let's walk the forearm plank, for five, four, three, two, one, oh. good, now both sides of the back are equally tired, let's take three breaths, resting, Part of working the core is working the back body. And we'll do a little bit of that today as well with our locust variations. Let's start with the palms down. I'm going to roll the shoulders back. Now, let's keep the toes on the, on the floor. Lift the knees up. And then we lift the arms and the upper body. Try to keep your head, your neck in line with your spine. Just a gentle, natural curve looking forward about a foot in front of your mat. So we're holding here a couple of breaths. Take three breaths, yes? Reaching with the fingertips. It also works the back of your shoulder and your torso. Let's take one more breath, maximizing. Ooh. And then we rest. Let's throw some Pilates in, in, into this workout, shall we? Let's do some pull straps. Now first, I'm gonna see who is watching here today. I see Jamie. Good to see you. Hope you're doing this with me. You're probably busy at home working on your laptop. Maybe you're gonna do it later, but I appreciate you tuning in. Pull straps, so in Pilates. In Pilates, when we're in this prone position, belly down, I'm gonna tighten the abs, pressing the bone down. So you keep your back from arching. We're gonna extend the arms, but the toes are down. And we're gonna exhale back and reach. Extend the arms. So it looks like this. Inhale, exhale, three, four. We're doing eight of these. Inhale, exhale, three, four. Inhale, reach. Let's keep the abs contracted. Remember this, Jamie, from our Pilates class? Inhale, exhale. We have good times at any time fitness, right? Inhale, exhale. That is an unpaid plug anytime fitness there. Inhale. You have great classes there. Great people. This feels pretty good. Let's do eight more. What do you think? Inhale. Exhale. Reach. So we're working the entire back body. So important for the health of our body. To strengthen the back. To keep it from injury. Inhale. Exhale. So that we're bending over. Picking up puppies or babies or bags of groceries, your back is strong. Inhale, exhale. One more now. It's an inhale, exhale, exhale. Let's stretch in shell stretch, they call it in Pilates. Knees together, arms alongside the body. Oh, forehead down, it feels good. And breathe. All right, time for the side plank. You knew that was coming, right? It's a beloved side plank. Let's bring a, you can roll this up if you're on a hard surface. Let's get the elbow under the shoulder. So let's do, let's do this variation here. One foot is stacked on top of the other. Hand is on the hip. Now, if this doesn't feel good to you, you can, you can stagger the feet. That's okay, too. You can also bend the front leg. That's a good one. Maybe we'll do some of that later. Start from here. We'll stick with the Pilates thing today. We'll do scoops. On the exhale, we round, and we inhale up. We exhale round, and we inhale up. Exhale round. So in Pilates, we breathe through the mouth, and we inhale up. I see we have other watchers. Thanks for joining us today. You came at a perfect time for the Pilates side plank. Exhale, inhale. Let's do two more. Exhale, inhale, exhale. For bonus points, arms over the head for eight. One arm, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one. Woo, good. And then we stretch that side of the body in mermaid stretch, holding onto the ankle. You know, maybe we should do one of these days. Just the full on Pilates quickie. What do you think? Remember, if there's something you want to do, message me or comment saying, yeah, I want to do this or I want to do that or can you do this? We'll do it. So here we are on the other side, stacking the feet if possible. So when you're in side plank, straight line, shoulder, hip, ankles. We're coming up, straight line, all the way down the middle if possible. Time to scoop. Inhale, exhale, round. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Remember, through the mouth and Pilates, like you're blowing out candles. Three more. Two, one, we're holding it over the head for eight, reaching seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. <sighs> Into mermaid pose we go. So every time we do one of these quickie workouts, I try to do some different things. So if you're looking for some variety, under the videos tab of this page, of, of my page, John Miller Pole and Yoga, you'll see different different playlists, so you can do something different. Guess what's coming? Did you say reverse plank? You are right, my friends. For back, for core, for triceps. Let's bring the hands back 8 to 12 inches. Remember, you can go on the fist. I often do that. So from here, get the feet together. We're going to lift up, exhale, inhale down, but not all the way. We exhale up, we inhale down, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, in, exhale, inhale. How about two more? Let's pulse it up, guys. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three. Do I feel another set coming? Do you? I do. Eight, seven. Can we maximize and try to get the bottom of the feet on the mat? And then lower down. Oh my gosh. Good stuff. A little, a little gentle stretch here. Before we go on to the next round, let's do a little V-sit. You can keep the hands back. You can keep them out. If this bothers your back, you can bring the feet down. If you want, you can fully extend. Please listen to your back. I'm going to hold here a little bit. We'll do some variations. We'll see. But this is such a great move in Pilates and in yoga. Yoga, we call it the boat. We're lifting the heart up, we're extending the legs out, so we're breathing normally. Let's hold for a count of eight, shall we? Eight, seven, six, five, with me, four, three, two, one. Let's lower down to half boat. Oh my gosh, yes, right there. Eight, seven, I'm sorry, I did just throw this in there. But we were in the perfect position to do it. Four, three, two, one. Oh, feels good to be doing something, right? It's easy to get settled in on the couch. All right, tricep dips. Hands or fists. I'm gonna do fists this time. My again, animals I usually are watching out the out the window. One of these days, I'm gonna turn this around and let you see. They're just fascinated by this. So we are going to lift the hips up. This is not this is not a pelvic thrust. It's a bend and a straighten. Bend and a straighten. Inhale, exhale. So we're not going to get a deep, deep bend, but that's not a bad thing because when you go too deep in this, sometimes if you're up on a bench, you can go so deep that you put your your shoulders in a dangerous position of tearing. So let's do eight, seven. Let's start with this. Six. Right, but see, this doesn't take a lot, right? Start to feel this three, 
Two, shall we keep going? I think I heard a yes. Seven, six, five, four, three. Oh, we're not done yet, are we? No. Let's keep going. Eight, seven. I think we can do two more sets. Let's just do it. Let's do 12 more. Let's make that our goal here. Three, two. Now we're coming to the end. Last set is the best set. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh, yes. Oof. We'll try a step stretch here. So we're taking one elbow, stretching it over. Another side. I'm so glad you're watching today. Thanks for keeping me company on this gray day. I got one more exercise for you. It's a plank variation. <laughs> Who would have guessed? So this is the touch the shoulder plank. And we do the, we're going to be in plank position. We're touching the shoulders if you can. However, in this one, you don't want to twist. You don't want to twist the hips. So a lot of times when people do this one, they'll lift the hip up. But we don't want to do that. We want to keep the pelvis square to the floor or the mat and just lift. That's part of the difficulty of this. Let's do two sets of eight. Ready? Let's finish strong. Eight, seven, six. We'll make it fast. Five, four. How are we doing? Three, two. All right, last set, guys. Here we go. Eight, seven. Abs are contracted. Six, pelvis is squared off. We're determined. Four, we're breathing. Three, two, one. Stretch the upper body, upward facing dog. Hands under the shoulders. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Good job. Let's come to down dog. Let's lower the knees. We're stretching out the shoulders. Got a lot of shoulder work in these planks. And then we'll stretch the triceps in confessional pose. We bring the hands together. They're outstretched the arms. We're bringing the thumbs. Wow. Whoa, that's a deep stretch. Behind the head. But you press the chest down. Let's hold for three breaths. I want to thank you for watching today. I wish you a safe and healthy day and every good thing. Namaste. Blessings. Hope to see you soon. Roxanne, Sue, hey, good to see you girls.